The new Hums 2 Pro model from Now's Research is becoming quite popular due to its function calling capabilities. Not only that, this model has already become quite popular in terms of quality of responses it generates, especially when it comes to structured JSON. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it locally installed and then we will also see its performance on different ROM sets. If you go through the model card of this Hums 2 Pro, it is quite fascinating. It is an upgraded, retrained version of Now's Hums 2, consisting of an updated and clean version of the Open Hums 2.5 dataset, as well as a newly introduced function calling and JSON mode dataset developed in house. Hums 2 Pro on Mistral 7B is a new flagship 7B Hums. This new version of Hums maintain its excellent general task and converse, conversation capabilities, but also excels at function calling, JSON, structured output, and also has improved on several other metrics as well. It scores 90% on function calling evaluation and 84% on structured JSON output evaluation, which is quite impressive. Hums Pro takes advantage of a special system prompt and multi-turn function calling structure with a new chat ML role in order to make function calling reliable and easy to parse. Now that's a quick introduction of this model. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally with Olama. So let's go to my local system. This is my local system, which is running Ubuntu 22.04 on one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM. Plus I have around 32 GB of memory. Let me clear my screen. I'll be using Olama to get this Hums 2 Pro installed on my local system. If you don't know what Olama is and how to install it, I have various videos on my channel where I discuss it in great detail. Just please search with Olama and you will find heaps of videos around Olama. Now, in order to get this thing installed, all you need to do is to run the command Olama run. And this is going to download, install and run the Olama. So it is loading all the layers of this model and you can see that the size is around 7.7 .7 gig. It is almost done. The speed is quite good today. It's loading all the layers and then it will do the checkpointings of these shards and should be done very soon. It is verifying the checksum now. And now it was able to download it. How cool is that? Now that is done. Let's play around with some of uh, the prompting here. Let me ask it, explain the problem with quantum gravity and why it's important. There you go. Look at the speed and look at the response. And First it is telling me what is quantum gravity, then several reasons why it is important. And then at the very end, it is saying that despite of its importance, it remains an area of active research with many unanswered questions. So I'll just say list those unanswered questions. There you go. So it is chatting, it is keeping the previous context, and then it is giving me some of the answers here. And then of course you can expound upon those other answers and go from there maybe i will just take uh, this one what is your take on what exactly is clock scale so i'm just picking up from this line of it there you go how cool is that okay now once that's done let me ask it some of the a role play question so i'm going to ask it I'll just press some enter that who are you and what are your capabilities let's see if it is self-aware or not okay so it is just saying that i am um, a model and that's about it awesome let me see if it is able to tell me some story can you tell me some story about your past? Okay, so it says uh, it's not so far. It's not self-aware. 
let me try to make it do some role play now for this role play i am going to ask it that uh, embark on a journey as a young scholar visiting the ancient city of texela in the heart of gandhara civilization during its zenith by the way texela is still a city in present day pakistan i think it's uh, i believe it's in the north of pakistan your quest is to study its renowned centers of learning explore the bustling trade markets filled with goods from distant lands and immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of cultural and philosophical exchanges as you navigate through the this vibrant city interact with scholars monks traders and artisans describe your experience at the famous university your discussion on various schools of thoughts with local and visiting intellectuals and your observation of the city's architecture and artwork chronicle your adventures and knowledge you acquire and the everyday life and the festivities of texla offering a first person narrative that captures the essence of being a part of this historic center of ancient wisdom and trade let's see there you go look at the responses how cool is that let it print and then we will just pick some of the stuff wow how cool is that now we just scroll up a bit it is telling me that uh, you know it has assumed the role here then it is arriving in a text line immediately struck by the grandeur of its architecture and then commercial activities it has gone to that famous university it has kept all the things of the prompt and then it has the privilege of engaging with both intellectual and visiting scholars bustling trade markets artwork and architecture buddhist teaching so i didn't mention buddhist at all but gandhara civilization war was all about buddhism and it was a huge and very impressive civilization of that time now during my stay in texla i'm fortunate enough how cool is that and then in the end my journey through texla has been an enlightening experience the knowledge i have acquired the people i have met and all that stuff so it has kept it generic too but it has certainly given the flavor of texla here let me ask it what was your most favorite artwork from texla buddha preaching at raj raj kira raja kira how cool is that Jand yes there are a lot of stupas there jandhara stupa is there so and texla is, has a museum and also some sort of stupa scattered all around that area so amazing stuff uh, now let me ask it what are the neighboring towns of texla let's see it is said that pushkalavati sirsok and all those stuff sirkap yep sirkap was there i think ruins are still there let me ask it what are the present day neighboring town okay now part of modern day char so that the seen in adak district i don't think so i think that is wrong okay good stuff i think uh, still it i think it missed few things but i believe lot of things are there awesome so you can see that how cool the role play of this model is now let me ask it one more thing explain the rationality of behind ai consciousness in structured json format let's see if it is able to do that there you go so you can see how cool it has done in the json format which is very hard for the models to produce but as i said it is gaining quite a popularity when it comes to structured json output and you see that how nicely it has created it awesome stuff beautiful so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on it and as i have mentioned earlier in the next video i am going to show you how you can do the function calling with this hums to pro we already have seen the json one so the next big thing with this hums to pro is 
as how to do the function calling so stay tuned i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching